Hi, welcome to Integrative Preparedness. I'm Steve Smith. Sorry for the gravelly vo voice. I've been outside in the wind <clears throat> and uh, trying to clear that up. Maybe maybe more coffee here in a minute. Um, I've hesitated to make this one because I know that, uh, that, that this will probably change the direction of some of my future videos. Uh, but uh, but I, I just have to now. And uh, I wanted to, to, to finally say that uh, you, if you've read my books, you, you see what I think about some of these things. Yeah, okay, I forgot where to look. Uh, <clears throat> that in my opinion, and in an opinion that I feel, is simply the truth, a fact. America as we know it is over. It's doomed. Now, whether you're doomed or not depends entirely on you, and we'll get to that here in a little bit. But uh, it is doomed. It is, it is the America of today. And I have to say, I, I, I have always been uh, one of those super patriots. I mean, it, it was just a few years ago that I stopped tearing up when, when I, I heard or, or sang or thought about the national anthem. And that may, may seem hokey, but that's kind of the kind of a family I was from, and, and that's just the way it was. So I have, have always been America to the bone, and, and that's why it saddens me that, uh, <clears throat> that it's come to this. But the America of today is not the America of uh, even 20 years ago, let alone the America of when I was a kid, and, uh, and certainly not anything close to what the founders had envisioned and hoped for and what so many people died to 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 give us here uh it it's a crying stinking shame and uh and i know there's others that are calling calling it out on this and i guess it's my time <clears throat> the reason that that america as we know it is doomed is because too many people are simply lazy selfish stupid or disinterested, okay, and I and I'll take those uh, here maybe maybe one by one. Uh, America was was built as as other good civilizations have been, but but we're but I'm talking about America. I'm American, and I think that America was a special place for a number of reasons. First off, it was on it was based on a a Judeo Christian concept, <clears throat> and to the extent that it followed that, it did very well. It was a country that that valued uh, industry and courage and standing up for we, what what you thought was right and and rugged individualism and self reliance and and those things that all of, of at least the people of my generation were raised to believe in and to pursue <clears throat> and over the years and and I could probably make five videos on this of when it started to happen and when it got worse and all. Uh, I won't get into that right now. We've become a, uh, a country of uh, not everyone. Uh, too many people uh, waiting to see what, what they can get for nothing. Uh, they've been rewarded by, by our government for not working, for not producing, for not being uh, responsible in their own lives, whether it's for their own uh, uh, sustenance or their own stinking behavior. And, and uh, bad behavior has been rewarded, and when you reward something, you get more of it, and we have certainly got more of that. So now we have an entire, entire portion of our, uh, of our society with its hand out, expecting uh, to be supported, and, and, and not just supported and accepted, but celebrated by, by those of us who uh, work our butts off uh, to take care of ourselves and, and our responsibilities. So that portion, and, and I've forgotten the figures, it doesn't matter what percentage of people are, are on public assistance, and I have nothing against helping people who cannot help themselves. Any compassionate person, family, society will do so. But I am not at all for helping people who simply won't help themselves. They need to get up off their butts and take care of themselves, and uh, and, and that's what what built this, and that's what ought to be expected. But it's not anymore. Um, so we have an entire section of that that's got its hand out, and and then we have a bunch of people who are just ignorant, okay, who who support themselves, 
who uh, work hard and think that they are doing right, but they're just ignorant. And, I, and I'll, I'll include myself, uh, well, used to, not, not, not now, until I woke up. But they, uh, I was one of those, and, and many people are. I was, uh, I was born and raised uh, in the Kansas City area. My family was from Missouri. We were Democrats. We never, we never questioned it. We just pulled the big D because Democrats were good and Republicans were bad. And we didn't have to think about it. We didn't have to engage our brains because we were Democrats. And Kansas City was a big political Democrat machine town, Tom Pendergast and Harry Truman and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, and so we, we didn't have to think about it. I remember that uh, in 1976, the Republican uh, Party had their convention in Kansas City. And the team that I was on at the time was tasked with providing the, the, the second layer uh, security for uh, the, the, at the Muehlbach Hotel is where the, Dem, uh, the Republican National Committee had their, their headquarters, and, uh, and Ronald Reagan was staying there. And, and we were tasked with providing a layer of security there. <clears throat> and I remembered how, how disappointed that I was because, well, I didn't like Republicans, right, because I was a Democrat. Uh, and, and I'd always heard Reagan being made fun of. And, uh, and so I didn't think much of him, you know, and I was disappointed that I had to, to guard these people, but it was my job. And, and so I did, uh, one day, and this is my, my personal epiphany, the things that started squaring me around, um, we were gonna, they were, they were about to leave the, they were staying there in the Muehlbach and the convention was over at an arena called Bartle Hall. And so it was time, it was about time for, for the principals to move from the hotel over to Bartle Hall. And so uh, whoever it was, the commander of the unit sent me up, said, go get, uh, go get them up there in a small little con conference room and let them know that we're ready. <clears throat> so uh, I went on up there and I went into to the room and uh, I was looking around for somebody that looked like I ought to tell them. And, uh, and this guy turned around and it was Reagan. And he said something to me, and I don't remember what it was. And I've told this story before. And I say, this would make a lot better story if I just made something up.